Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. Well, it's hurricane season, so I'm on the flex right now, uh, checking out some of the radio teletype weather reports coming in. And I wanted to take just a minute to show you uh, that on the screen over here. So in a second, I'm going to switch over and you'll see the messages being decoded. Uh, I'm using Air Link Express to decode this, these messages. That's a free uh, software package. If you just Google Air Link Express, you'll go right there. Works quite well for decoding uh, RTTY signals, uh, radio teletype. So uh, check out AirLink Express. Let's move on over to the monitor now. Okay, as you can see, uh, it's uh, translating that signal you hear in the background. You can also see it on the pan adapter. Over at 8.472, I'm a little bit off frequency, but it really doesn't matter. Uh, I just line up the little blue symbol, uh, this one right here with the signal that's coming in, I just put it right in between and it starts decoding it. So really any any time any way you can tune the signal so it'll show up on this screen here, uh, you can usually get a decode. Sometimes you have to drop down closer to the signal, but it's not real critical. That's why I like AirLink Express. So let's just take a minute and kind of read what's coming across. That sound you hear in the background is actually the radio teletype signal. Let's switch back over here. Let me kind of turn the volume down a little bit. Anyway, uh, flex really helps in finding these signals. Uh, you know, KE9NS has incorporated a shortwave listening uh, stations into his into the Power SDR software. So. Uh, you just open up uh, the shortwave listening stations and there's a little search box and you just type in RTTY and it goes through about 11,000 stations and picks out any that are transmitting RTTY and uh, then you have to select them to find out which one uh, that you can hear at your location. But it's very easy to do. You just click on one of the stations. It's either can be heard or it can't be heard. And if it can't be heard, you just select another one. Anyway, pretty neat deal. Uh, I'm kind of sitting here watching the hurricane reports. Also uh, kind of monitoring, uh, let's see, uh, several frequencies. For voice communications, they are taking traffic right now from uh, the East Coast and Florida. Uh, they're wanting weather, weather reports and flooding reports and damage reports. 
So uh, if you're licensed, you can listen to 14.325 in the daytime or 7.268 at night and uh, listen to some of these reports. Now, I've also heard there is an Aries net, amateur radio emergency services net, going on right now at 7.252 or 3.950, 3.950, depending on propagation. Uh, there's also supposed to be an echo link uh, node uh, called WX-TALK, WX-TALK. It's node 7203. And uh, I did manage to connect to it, but there was no traffic on it at the time that I connected. But if you have Echo Link, you might want to try WX-TALK, uh, node 7203, and you might stumble on some traffic there from the hurricane. Anyway, that's what's going on in the shack today and just playing around with a little software and listening to the hurricane reports. So everybody have a great day. As I usually say, keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. And clear skies and 73 to everybody. See y'all later.